Next to one breaking news, a San Bernardino County deputy shot and a suspect is dead. More on the gun battle in a bank parking lot in a live report. Lindsay Lope. Breaking news out of San Bernardino where a man is dead after a shootout with authorities in a grocery store parking lot. A county sheriff was also shot during the gun battle. KTLA's Dave Meekum has advised probation today, bringing five years of legal trouble to a close. Lohan was also praised for completing her community service. KTLA's Elizabeth M. Now that situation in Pasadena raises serious legal questions about calling 911. KTLA legal analyst Manny Mag record Mega Millions jackpot has now grown to a world record. High ticket sales have pushed the... Coming up, how does $7 million worth of fuel go missing? Yeah, good question. Jim Nash will join us live from downtown L.A. with where the city says all that money and gas actually went. Plus Jessica Holmes, the pre... Coming up, another big spike in cases of autism. We'll show you why... Oh my goodness, that video along with hearing mm -hmm. the, the child's voice, that is just so frightening. I was covering big fires in Big Bear back mm. about nine years ago mm. and... Uh, driving you know on the highway up there yeah I kind of have the same it's situation really yeah it's really yeah. you know all that smoke and fire you can't see anything oh, right so scary and this started from a controlled burn yeah. unbelievable mm -hmm. all right well let's talk about something nice how about the weather because it's beautiful out there but uh, what can we expect all right Jess thank you and more your top stories are coming up next including an audit that shows how seven million dollars worth of fuel just went missing Plus, Chip Yo's disturbing news. While gas prices are skyrocketing, there is an alarming discovery today in the city of Los Angeles. A scathing audit uncovered at least $7 million of unexplained fuel purchases by city departments. KTLA's Jim Nash is like, well, dozens of animals are being cared for at a shelter after being removed from squalid conditions at a Stanton mobile home. Authorities acted on a tip that a woman had been living there with a variety of dogs, cats, birds, even reptiles. KTLA's Christina Pascucci reports out latimes.com slash business coming up uh, we all know you're not supposed to shake your newborn baby yeah but there's another move in health news autism cases appear to be on the rise again about the vaccine prescribed to prevent cervical cancer could have some additional benefits for women already infected with aged health news click on ktla.com slash health all right, well, in other news tonight, local law enforcement will be adding aprons and food trays to their uniforms. Allie McKay has an explanation from the Hamburger Hamlet in Sherman Oaks. Sounds good. All right, the KTLA 5 News at 1 continues straight ahead. We'll be right back. Well, this Sunday, you can get some exercise and help a children's charity. It's the Walk for Kids benefiting Ronald McDonald Houses, and our Gail Anderson met a couple that has turned to that charity to help their baby. New data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates one in 88 American children have autism. That's a 78% increase compared to just one decade ago. And if parents are concerned about their children, they should immediately consult a doctor or the school system and have their child assessed. For KTLA 5 News, I'm Leela Feinstein.